Hey guys, I'm Anand from Movie Data Scientist. In this video, we are going to talk about regularization. What is regularization? How we can implement L1 and L2 regularization? Also, we have a lot of free courses on modedatascientist.com, so please go there and check it out. Now let's uh, move forward with our video. So what is regularization? In machine learning, regularization plays a crucial role in preventing overfitting, enhancing moral generalization, and addressing multicollinearity. So this video provides an extensive exploration of regularization technique, their application, how to effecti effectively implement in the practice. Now let's move forward and first we are going to talk about L1 regularization. It is also known as uh, lasso regularization and basically it is a linear regression technique that includes a penalty term based on the absolute value of the coefficients. By adding this penalty term, it aims to reduce the impact of less important features and in some cases remove them from the model altogether. Now let's walk through a simple example. Uh, first, we are going to import all the necessary libraries to implement L1 regularization. We are going to uh, import lasso uh, classifier. And then for the data set, we are going to import uh, the digit data set. And then we are also going to import train test plot. First, we are going to uh, load the data set. Then we are going to save uh, the training data into X and the target variable into Y. Once that is done, we are going to split the data. For that, we are using train test plus and the test size that we have taken over here is 20%. Uh, over here, we are going to implement a lasso classifier. And as you can see that alpha, or we can see the L1 regularization value we have taken over here is one. Uh, you can actually check out uh, a bunch of va uh, values in order to determine what is working best for your data set. And for that, you can also uh, use grid search CV or uh, random search CV. Uh, to get the best value. So after uh, we have implemented uh, lasso classifier, we are going to train lasso classifier with the training set. Once it is done, we are going to evaluate the model by getting a score on the training set as well as the uh, testing set. Now we are going to run this code and see what the score we are getting. As you can see that the training score that we are getting is around 46% and the test score that we are getting on this data set is around 44%. If you see both the values, you can see that there's not, uh, not a lot of difference in training score and the testing score. So this is how we are preventing uh, overfitting with the help of L1 regularization. Now we are going to talk about L2 regularization. So L2 regularization is also known as risk regularization. It is a uh, linear regression technique that introduces a penalty term based on the square of magnitudes of the coefficients. By adding this penalty term, L2 regularization aims to reduce the impact of less important features without removing them entirely from the model. Uh, now let's move forward and have a look at this example. Over here, we are going to implement a ridge classification. So basically everything is the same. Over here, we are importing a ridge classifier, then we are loading the digit data set, train test split. Once we have uh, loaded uh, the data set, then we are splitting the data into training and testing. And over here, you can see that we are implementing a rich classifier and the value for alpha that we have taken as one. Then we are fitting the rich classifier and then we are evaluating uh, using the score method. Now let's run this code and see what value we are getting. So over here, you can see that the training score we are getting is around 59% and the test score is uh, around 57%. So basically it is performing well than L1 regularization. But you might get a different score based on the machine learning algorithm and selection of the data set and the selection of regularization technique that you're using. So this was all about L2 regularization. Now we are going to talk about elastic net. So elastic net is a linear regression technique that combines the penalties of L1 and L2 regularization. By doing so, it aims to achieve the benefit of both lasso, sparsity and feature selection property and risk stability and resistance to multicollinearity. Now let's move forward and have a look at the elastic net uh, classification. Over here, as you can uh, you can see that we are importing elastic net, uh, digit, train test split. First, we are loading the data set, then we are splitting it and uh, we are implementing uh, elastic net with alpha value equal to one and L1 ratio equal to 0 0.001. In order to achieve uh, the best values, uh, it is required to hypertune this parameter. For that, you can uh, actually use grid cell CV or random cell CV. Once it is done, we are going to train the elastic net using the training set. And then we are going to uh, evaluate the model using score. Now let's uh, run the score and see what score we are getting. So over here, you can see that we are uh, getting a score of 59% on the training and 57% on the testing. 
So this was all about elastic net. Now we are going to talk about what we have uh, discussed uh, in this video. We have talked about regularization and how we can implement L1 and L2 regularization in Scikit-learn. In, uh, in case you have any questions, please write them down in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you have liked the content, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. And please don't miss out the free courses that we have on moodatascientist.com. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.